I think it is recorded. Now recording. Huh. You know, old people freak me the fuck out. And why <laughs> is that? They're just they're just freaky, okay? So so this is an example of pulling comedy from dark places. For those who don't know, um, my... Oh, God, did an old man try to touch you a little bit ago? No, 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 is no, is no, that no. what happened? Like, come here, boy. No, 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 no. But the, this, the, the stuff that I'm about to talk about stems from the fact uh, that for a good few months now, I believe half a year or so, uh, my grandmother has been uh, a resident at a nursing home. Uh, she is now under uh she was in and out of nursing homes for a while there was like a whole battle um now she's basically gone insane like sometimes she's okay but like most times she's not she's just in space (laughs) uh and she lives in a nursing home now so every time i see my grandmother i have to go to this fucking nursing home um and it's like I think my stance on, like, really old people is, like, I can only handle the ones I'm related to. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if, I, if, they're, if they're my family, like, I can look past it. But, like, just, like, random strange old people just, like, make me uncomfortable. And I think I've always felt this way to some degree. Like, my mother has always worked um, in the sort of fields where she's helping old people. And whenever I've met, like people she works for that I don't really know that are really old. They've always kind of freaked me out. Um, And that obviously now that I'm like older and she has no obligation to ever bring me along to work with her for any reason. um, I had less of that in my life. And now, but now that I have a grandmother who lives in a nursing home, I have to go to one on some consistent basis or feel like a shitty bad grandson. Uh, So, I go to this nursing home, and it's always, it, it always is just so creepy. Like, there's always stuff going on in there. It just feels like a fucking horror movie to walk through those halls, because there's always just, like, something weird or or creepy, or just, like, maybe it's just, like, annoying, and it's just, like, creepy. Um, It just feels creepy. Uh, But it's just, like, all the old people rolling around, saying stuff I don't understand. Some of them have fucking baby dolls, which is really creepy. Um, I know it's it like helps them somehow and it's good for them and I understand that it's a standard medical procedure I guess to give these crazy old ladies baby dolls to to carry around but it's really freaky. Um, there was this one time that this chick was just like rolling down the halls screaming for water, and that was it was really freaking me out. <laughs> yeah, the know. nurses just do not care. Yeah, because, like, she was, like, a, she had to, like, drink thickened water or whatever. Uh, so, like, it was a special process to give her water. You couldn't just give her water. Um, so, she would, I guess she was not satisfied with this uh, water timetable. Um, and she really wanted some water. So, she's just rolling down the halls going, water! Water! <laughs> See, those fucking places creep me out, man, because, like, it's it's kind of like a, a fucking no-kill shelter, but for elderly people, that <laughs> people have just, like, dumped their parents, like, in for, like, more than, like, you know, like, probably, I mean, like, I don't know how long old folks' homes have been around, but I can imagine probably for hundreds of years now. Well, maybe a hundred-something years. I mean, we used to just kill our grandparents or just leave them out in the wild or something like nature take or just course. let let them live in their own their little cabin house that they live in together until they die like <laughs> like honestly i think it was a lot better when until we one of them letting... falls one day and doesn't get up and then that's it i think it was a lot better for the elderly when we were just allowing grandpa to go live in the woods with all of his guns you know miles from society it's what he wanted then all the all of a sudden, we were like, no, Grandpa, blah, 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 QAnon, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, like, uh, now we're just like, no, you got to go to a home. Like, no, don't put them in a home. Just give them their cabin in the woods and let them live in the woods. It's it's what they want. Oh, you're, you're buying your parents a cabin, Mo? Fuck no. They got <laughs> yeah, more money that's... than I do. I don't, <laughs> yeah. have, I don't have cabin money. What whatever I mean. money, I, yeah, I mean, whatever money you're gonna money. spend, because you have to pay to like stay in those nursing homes too. Yeah, uh, like whatever money you're paying for like a nursing home, 
Maybe, but you could you could get a nice little cabin out there for for something close. I would say, you know, I th- I think you can make it work. Uh, but no. Well, uh, my parents have more money than I do. That I'm sure they can afford their own cabin in the woods with their guns. And like they all, I I don't know if they all hate it, but my grandma definitely fucking hates it. She hates being there more than anything. Uh, like she's always in a bad mood, especially when she's crazy. Um, this, uh, the reason this came up in my head today and I had the nursing home heebie jeebies, uh, so freshly, um, is because, uh, we went to the nursing home and we had a little, a little party, uh, for my, uh, grandmother's, uh, anniversary slash my aunt's birthday. They, they lined them up on purpose because they're so close that they lined up their wedding anniversary and their birthday on purpose. So we're, we're there to celebrate my aunt's birthday and my grandmother and her husband, who she remarried to after my grandfather passed anniversary. Uh, and we've got, we've got cake and ice cream. Everybody's there. She's all dressed up and she is completely crazy, has no idea what's going on. Everything coming out of her mouth is complete nonsense. And she's just really mad. <laughs> she's just very angry the whole time. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that a real bug got in her today. Cause she, there was some fire, uh, behind her. She was just, she was yelling up a storm. She's, she's making up stories, making up reasons to be mad at everybody. Uh, she's mad at me today, which is not, that's not usual. Usually I'm there and she's all smiles. She usually thinks I'm still like a kid in school. Um, but she, <laughs> regardless, she does not have any issues with me. Uh, but today she, I always wonder, right? With these like crazy, like Alzheimer's type of people, like what is going through their mind? Cause they'll always like start thoughts and they won't finish them. Cause obviously they're nothing and they're nonsense, but you wonder like what? What was the inspiration behind that? What did she think in this scenario? Riley. Where is she? Yeah, uh, yeah, Riley. It's basically like it, it's like you you were high, and then you forget a thought, but that feeling is like all the fucking time, and then you get brain fog, and it fucking sucks. Okay, but yeah. So my grandma today, she she said a couple things to me. The, I guess she, I knew she was mad at me at the end. She kind of smiled at me a couple times. So I thought maybe it was, it had kind of subsided. But then, uh, when, when me and my mom got up to leave, I told her I loved her and she told me to get out of here. So I guess. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, but during, during the party when we're all sitting around, I, I think this is even before cake. Um, she looked at me and she said something about, how much food I eat or something. And she said something about bailing me out. I don't know what she was saying. It was, it was complete nonsense. And then she says that <laughs> she was up crying all night with two nurses. Two nurses joined her in this all night crying session because I, her own grandson, had done something. And <laughs> before before she could t- say what that something was, she, her brain had already moved on to something else. But I I want to know in that moment what was going through her head. What was so what did I what could I have done? What did you do? So so vile. The bodies, Riley. She <laughs> wants to know where the bodies all are. <laughs> The many, many, many bodies throughout the last five years. Listen, there's only where about you bury like them. five bodies, okay? Oh, okay. Where are they? Many. Where are the bodies, Riley? I ate them. Yeah, I ate them. You sick <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I did. I guess I committed some horrible sin, uh, so so bad that it caused my grandmother and two nurses to cry all night. Uh, to be <laughs> fair, it pro- that probably didn't happen at all. No, I'm sure it didn't, but I'm just saying, I wonder what was it, Are you what sure? was the inspiration of that thought? Are you sure you didn't get bailed out? No, I've never, I've never been in jail. Who is Jeffrey Stevens, Riley? Why does he have your face? 
I'm talking about Jeffrey Stevens. You're you're living a double life, Riley. You're living a double life. Confess. See, if, if you ask a lot of people, I'm living a double life working at Walmart because apparently. I've never seen this guy either. Maybe I should do some investigative journalism at some point. But I have had a significant amount of people, apropos of nothing, ask me if I work at Walmart. Because they met a guy at Walmart who apparently looks just like me, who works at the Walmart. Got a long lost twin. <laughs> Get him on the podcast. Yeah, if I can find the Walmart guy, I will definitely get him on a podcast if he's down. But yeah, I guess I just have some long-lost twin out working at Walmart. So much so. And he's making such an impression on people that I'm hearing from multiple different strangers. Like, oh, are you that guy from Walmart? Like, no. <laughs> they want you to get the hookup on <laughs> at Walmart. Oh, yeah, they're so into the Walmart guy that they see him again in the wild, and they're like, hey, but it wasn't him, unfortunately. All right, you say all you need to say during your Muy Frio opening? Yes, Muy okay. Frio it was, indeed. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Let's let's go ahead and start the show, because I got something I need to say. Uh, all right, a one, a two, a skiddly dilly do. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. And joining me today are a couple of just wacky individuals. You know, you just run the gamut of just comedy with them. You know, it's just funny nonstop 24-7. And uh, let's say hi to them. Say hi to Riley. What's up, Riley? Oh, yeah. Just all uh, nonstop yucks here. I'm oh, Riley just a uh, uh, hoot and a holler. Oh, like shooting fish in a comedy barrel. That's and joining right. me also today is Robin. Say what's up, Robin. Hey, what's up? I'm excited to meet these very funny people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got them coming. Yeah, I, I got them coming here. They'll be here any time. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, they might be delayed because guess what? Uh, Mother Nature has decided it's going to just suddenly bitch slap uh, the United States in the form of hurricanes. Okay. So, uh, there's a, a, a hurricane, a, Hil a hurricane Hillary, which is just pumped out the, the spiciest and the best Trump memes, you know, and, and hurricane say, Hillary. Hurricane Hillary was, uh, eight yeah. years ago. <laughs> no, there, there's another hurricane Hillary and she's coming right for California, Mexico, Let's go. Slash the United States. Oh, oh, you you don't like Mexicans, Robin? Is is Not that Californians. why? Californians. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's actually it's okay. pretty good for them, right? The drought. Give them some oh, water. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. Oh. Them and their yeah. fucking drought. It'll help them out. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like have fucking days of hurricanes in California to help out with the uh, <clears throat> drought. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's happening right now is kind of like Hawaii, uh. Fucking California is getting bitch slapped by fucking hurricanes and fucking wildfires. And it's kind of funny because this is like Bible level fucking like disasters. Like the uh, what's going on in Hawaii right now is uh, there's fires on one side of the island and then fucking uh, flooding on the other uh, side of the same island. And everyone's freaking the fuck out. And I find that just, uh, you know, crazy that, you know, I, I don't know if it's climate change or if you could even factor in climate change or maybe God just hates us. But, you know, we're, we're, we're having biblical storms and, and weird, like, natural disasters mixing in with each other. It's like all of them, just the representatives, like in a Godfather-esque scenario, sort of just got in and, like, you know, fires all like... Hey, we got it to take her down to the fucking people here. And they were all like, yeah, I, I like that. And other random <laughs> accents, you know. Uh, I, I, I like to think that, you know, all the dons of all the elements uh, were having just a, a meeting. And they were like, okay, so 
hurricane and tornadoes, you guys, uh, hurricanes and floods, you guys are going to uh, combine with each other. Hurricane, if you can pick up some sharks along the way, we can have sort of a a shark cane maybe even produce a couple of tornadoes, bring fucking Sharknado to life. Uh, we're going to have the president send billions of dollars to the Ukraine and then go, listen, you know, these guys over in uh, Hawaii really need some help. We're going to help them with $700. You know, uh, it would be better if they just didn't give them fucking nothing. But, you know, like, the but the, the president and, and, and our government and their infinite wisdom and mercy and generosity have deigned upon uh, the, us, the, the tiny little people, a gift, a massive, mighty gift of $700 for our troubles. And, you know, Oprah and corporations are buying up all the land that's burnt the fuck up since technically no one owns that land anymore. It was destroyed. So, quite literal fire cell. You know? Quite literally. And and flood cell, too. So, yeah, just, that's happening. And uh, on the other side, in the Atlantic, uh, there's a monsoon that's about to bitch slap uh, a fucking western africa and uh there's two there's two to possibly three uh tropical systems forming out near the gulf of mexico and uh florida you look like you're about to get some and uh brownsville texas and man mexico on the other side are about to get some too so mexico is about to get eiffel towered by fucking hurricane systems right now. And I've been watching non-stop fucking uh, TikTok and fucking uh, YouTube videos. Little short videos. Of the massive fucking flooding and the damage and, and shit. That was, there's been like landslide video after landslide video. It, it's, it's fucking crazy right now. Because the parts of Mexico that got this hurricane, Hurricane Hillary. Haven't seen storms like this in like decades and decades so they're all ill prepared because now suddenly this happens so it's fucking nuts man how nature has just decided that it's done with our bullshit and has uh reminded us hey i can eliminate all of you at any time whenever i feel like so that that's that's what i'm going through right now because i've been through like three fucking hurricanes already uh, that just happened yeah, you know, I know, I know they happens. just happen. Sometimes you die, sometimes you don't. But what about you, Riley? Have you ever been through a hurricane? Oh, yeah. Plenty of times. Has the Floridian been through hurricanes? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, my, I'm not sure. ran into a couple. Well, no, bitch, shut up. Like, I, I don't know exactly what side or what portion of fucking Florida you actually live in. So I don't know which one, because... It's always the dong part of Florida that's always just getting fucking, like, bit slapped by the fucking storms. That's why I ask. Yeah, yeah, no, but I, I've been through... I don't think I've ever... You see, I feel like I've never really been through, like, a real one. But maybe I'm just so desensitized because I live in Florida that I don't know when I'm through a real one. Because, like, uproarious rains will occur, and I'll just be like, yeah, whatever. Okay, hold, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have, like, a little, like, calendar that has, like, a word of the day or something on there? Because you, you used two, uh, 25 cent, two 25 cent words already since we started. I just use those sometimes, you know? Sometimes, okay, all right, all right, I'm just checking, I'm just checking. Sometimes I'm just a smart little boy. A uh, smart little cookie, uh, but... Yeah, so I've been in hurricanes. It feels like none of them have really been too bad. I've slept through most of them. I don't think I've ever do done pro proper safety precautions for any of them. Even though I've been in at least, like, three hurricanes, whether they came to pass as bad as they were expected to or not, they were reported to be bad. Um, and I was just like, eh, I'll probably be fine. And I was. You know who I really feel bad for? Louisianans, because for some reason or another, like what saves us from hurricanes, like Texas, what saves us from hurricanes is like 
the the it will be like the same thing almost every every like few years. Yeah, this hurricane looks like it's about to bitch slap the Gulf of Texas. Oh no! Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It's like it's kind of like a fucking bunch of dumb zombies going after like the slowest fucking prey, and they just see Louisiana and they're like, oh brains, and they fucking shuffle on over to Louisiana, and Louisiana's like, no, no, go to Texas, go to Texas. And everyone's like, no, 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 stay on course, you're doing great, Hurricane Storm name person thing. And uh, it just, like, you know, just shits all over Louisiana. Like, I honestly don't know how Louisiana is not just submerged, the, the most submerged state in the Union, you know? Well, you just get your militias out, and you fire in the opposite direction of the hurricane. and the bullets will slow down the wind and it'll just disappear. That sounds like science. It sounds sound enough, you know. I don't think yeah. I can really dispute that. Yeah, 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 that's that's true science facts right there. Yeah, it'll like just totally stop. Yeah, because you know, that's like the wind's fucking nemesis right now is bullets. You know, so we're like we should deploy like more shootings into like storms and stuff. I mean, what's the worst that could possibly happen? You know, it turned to a bullet NATO or a bullet cane? Oh, man, that would be kind of cool, huh? If there were just, like, 20, 30,000 rounds shot up in a fucking storm, and just, like, the the fucking storm just, like, grabs all the fucking bullets, and it's like... Uh, Is that starting in Florida, the shooting at, shooting at hurricanes? Probably. Oh, I'm sure. I'm <laughs> almost positive. Because I remember, I remember however many years ago that was, they had to put out the whole like news statement that was like please don't shoot at a hurricane <laughs> not gonna you work buddy fucking idiots don't shoot at a hurricane i know it's a hurricane when i see the dude with the uh american flag and the shirt off and he's got like a, a, a also a cape on sometimes and he's jamming a fucking like some sort of like slayer or metallica or something that's how i know it's a fucking storm do either one of you huh? know what i'm talking about no no. Yeah, there, there's always some white dude in Florida that has like a giant ass American flag. He's in the middle of the wind. He's got his fucking hair blown out, uh, blown all in, in the wind, and uh, he's got a shirt off, and he's fucking uh, just headbanging into like Slayer or like some sort of heavy metal. It it like went mega mega viral the very first time. Hey, as a, as a Florida man, I can say have never seen this happen, Mo. I've never. I've never bared witness to such a such a godly creature. Anybody who would do that, legend. Never seen no it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shit. Uh, fuck, man. There's. I, I made the mistake of. Oh, here it is. Of googling a uh, Florida man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here, real quick. Uh, you're going to give me your reaction, real fast. The both of you, or you know what? We'll we'll play. I'll, I'll play it on here. Since uh, and and we're going to describe, you know, for the people who are just, you know, listening, what's going which on? Is, okay, which is everyone? Yes. All right. Okay. So I just found the fucking YouTube video of Florida man in the fucking storm. So this is this is what I'm talking about. You guys uh, want to enlarge this real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's right. let's see this. Okay. Doing it now in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay so we're raining. starting. Oh shit, dog! Yeah, and there's a yeah. yeah. That, that's uh yeah. That's that's what I'm fucking talking about right there. Like, dude, when this guy first fucking, I mean, this is He's a fucking repost. air guitaring, whipping his hair back and forth. He's got a fucking giant American flag. What a yeah. fucking legend! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was like several years ago. This is like went fucking super duper viral. It was fucking crazy. I wonder if there's like a yeah, because there's there's so many, you know. I gotta say, I can do this job ninety eight, ninety nine percent of the time, but the one percent of the time, being a fucking uh, a, a fucking news anchor that has to go out into the field, uh, it fucking sucks because like I see these poor bastards that like someone drew straws and decided, hey Hank, you're you're going out into the fucking storm. I don't fucking want to, man. Come on. Like, do I got to go? Can I fucking get, like, a t-shirt and jeans? Nah, you got to wear a raincoat over your suit. 
And, you know, and they just get bitch slapped with like the worst of it every fucking single time, man. I don't know if I can handle that shit. Yeah, that'd be rough. I don't know. It just doesn't seem fair. Well, yeah, because you gotta get live coverage of like what it looks like out in the field. Whoa, well, like, we're, we're guys struggling just... just like you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, can't you guys just, you know, imagine that? <laughs> but, yeah, so that's that's what I'm about to go through here. Another fucking hurricane, man. How long like, are they, like, standing there, too, right? Because you, you kind of have to wait until it's your turn on the air. So you're just, like, standing there, like, in the, sh- the ship, just waiting? Uh, well, I imagine, like, a... Well, they, they've got to, like, a, you know, pre-prep while they're in a van... And then they just fucking run out there and like, oh, hello, Tom, it really fucking sucks right now. Don't want to <laughs> be out here. You want to be somewhere real dry, maybe kind of warm, you know, not getting bitch slapped by a goddamn hurricane. <laughs> We're out here. You can see water is up to my knees. Like, and yes. it's like, what the fuck? Why are you there? Why am I here, Tom? Well, because, Dale, you drew the last straw. And damn if I'm going out there. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck you, Tom. Fuck you, Dale. <laughs> Anyhow, back to squirrels skiing. Or whatever. I mean, fuck you, man. I fucking hate this job. Well, too bad, Tom. No, three years add to your contract. <laughs> We're never Get fired. Fucked, Tom. <laughs> yes. Get fucked, Tom. Just let you know, Dale, I had sex with your husband. <laughs> well, you know, I had sex with your mom and your uh, daughter, Sue. God damn you, I hate you so much. Send it back to you, Tom. You know, I think I'm turning into a boomer. Because I can't stay up late anymore. Like, I can't... L- it's I go through these weird eras now. Where, like, for a long time, it'll be fine, and I can stay up for ungodly hours of the night, and I'll be totally okay. Mm -hmm. And then, recently, for, like, these past, like, few weeks, I just, like, can't do it. Like, last week, I fell asleep on the show. We all know. Ha ha. Um, And it's just, like, any time I'm required to stay awake past, like, ten, it's it's a toss-up whether my body is going to allow such a thing. (laughs) I'm just turning into a little old man who has to well, be look, in bed by you, 10. I wish I could. You need to slap yourself in your little vagina and you need to fucking just stay up like a fucking man and then go to sleep at a certain, at, at a decent fucking time. Cause it sounds like you're just, your sleep schedule just sucks. Yeah. Cause I do too much shit. You gotta cut down some of these fucking podcasts, man. Hey, these no. zero listening to podcasts, you got to fucking get rid of them, Riley, so you can get some sleep. Instead of doing a shitty podcast, go take a nap. No, th- don't call yes. my podcast shitty, first of all. No, I, I did. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. Which one in particular, did, actually, Mo? Can you name no, 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 them all? No, 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 I, I didn't mean that. I, I didn't <laughs> yeah, mean, can I didn't you mean, name my say, shitty podcast? No, 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 no. I, I mean, like, podcasts you do with other people. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Well, well because it sounds it, like, like you Riley's came from a very sp- specific place with that one. No, I didn't yeah, mean which to. Which one of my podcasts? I, I did not mean. Okay, I didn't mean that. to. Okay, I didn't mean to say it, say it like that. That came off as really, really bad. I apologize. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't said shitty. I didn't mean to say hey, your podcasts are shitty. My bad. So I'll yeah, say, I do. I, I realize now, I was starting to realize that, like, I was like, okay, I need to start cutting down. I'll think about that, like, at some point, though. Like, it's not any rush, but I do need to start. I do need to have it in my head that I might need to start cutting down. Yeah, Riley, ask And then yourself, I signed on for two more projects. So, uh, yeah, now I'm yourself, at the point. <laughs> yeah, ask yourself this, Riley. Every time you want to do a podcast, you ask yourself, do I want to do this podcast? or do I want to take a nap? And you should pick the nap nine out of ten times. You see, that doesn't work for me. Why? Why not? Because sometimes I just can't nap, and when I'm awake and I'm bored, I feel that podcast urge in my veins and bones. Uh, it's so... like writing a journal or something. What the hell? Yeah, I know. This is. I mean, that's basically what this is. Like I schizophrenically podcast to an audience of no one. For like fifteen hours a week, 
uh, because that's it's my equivalent of what people who write in a journal are getting out of that. Uh, just just getting thoughts out and having them in a place where I can reference them in the future. Um, and just the bonus of perhaps maybe other people finding it entertaining. And uh, basically, it's just like a big networking tool <laughs> has been all podcasting has been for me for my entire career. Um, because like, I don't, I, I can't really retain a fan base. Um, but what I have obtained is friends. Uh, and that's just basically, that's been the end game. <laughs> Oh no, I, that I, last I do, episode. I do of... podcasts and then I and then like one guy will listen one day and then I will become friends with that guy. <laughs> and that's oh, no. just how it goes. That's, that last episode that we did of uh uh the issue crew, it was that was pretty brutal. Like that that sort of went like south r- no, real it quick didn't. in some spots. <laughs> I, the, the, that episode went surprisingly well. I don't even like there were a couple of arguments, I guess, but like the, that episode I, was very clean. I, I'm also factoring in all the after, uh, all the uh, hereafter stuff, like, and then Jello saying, "We fucking stop saying that I say all this stuff about Jays and stuff." Like, no, I fucking don't. I'm like, oh god, like there's just you know, and, and then there's early with Kathy, Kathy, and fucking Crow, uh, Rolty just fucking fighting. Well, yeah, because they unironically hate each other. Why do we have so many like, fucking nothing, people who hate each other but on the venom show? Between those two. Venom, 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 venom. Venom, 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 venom. <laughs> oh, God, that, that song sucks so much ass. It's just fucking terrible. Like, Eminem, you have, like, decreased in value and talent with age. And I, it's kind of disingenuous to say that Crow and Kathy don't get along at all, because they have proven to in the past, but... Mostly. Well, every time I see them talk, it's like they're fucking bitching and arguing at each other. I mean... Yeah, it's funny. I get it. I get it, too. It's just, I don't know. I get it when Kathy acts completely brain dead. Crow Royalty is not just willing to be like, okay, Kathy, <laughs> uh, which is what we've all learned to do. <laughs> yeah, I guess his spirit, or uh, their spirit, has been broken yet. Kathy is yeah, sober, yeah. okay? The sobriety of the Lord. Kathy's not sober. No, the thoughts are sober. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy hits the sauce a little too much. Oh, she hits the sauce, but yeah, the, the thoughts or, or, or are all at least sober the, by the, the Lord. The, hypothetically, ordained. in Minecraft, as she is under the age of 21, so obviously I would not be referring to real life. But in the Minecraft, hot sauce. I'm not giving her about alcohol. The hot she's fucking, yeah, she's fucking drinking. I don't, I, I, I ain't giving it to her. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, I no, it's think not illegal I, I, to drink underage, really. I mean, it is in public. Shit. Is it? Oh. Is it not illegal to drink underage, technically? Or? No. Your parents yeah, can I give you know. alcohol. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kathy, Kat, all, all the alcohol Kathy is consuming, her parents are 100% aware of it. Yeah, the illegal part is buying it for someone, right? Like, that's illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go after the dealers, not the users. Yeah, exactly. That's how it all, always should be. Uh, Alright y'all, come but, on, snap it up. Twenty seven more minutes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was just uh I was trying to think of something to fucking say. Uh Where but are you yeah. Man? Yeah, I'm I'm here somewhere. Like I, sure? I swear. <laughs> I, I swear. Out there. Well I just dropped my fucking back scratcher and then I forgot what I was gonna fucking say. Okay. Uh, to Riley. Tragic. Yeah, tragic arena. Well, grab your little but, get your grabber, you can't bend over anymore and yeah. Grab your back scratcher with uh, it. <laughs> I can bend over. Well, no, it's I, I can do it. I, instead of just being <laughs> old, though, I'm just being fucking lazy. Because I can just move this mic real fast and just grab it, but I just haven't yet. Just looking at it longingly? Yeah, but, you know, I do have an announcement. Okay. Okay, so since 2018, I've been, like, wanting to do... Not a comic book, but like a comic strip. And I want to put it on Twitter because I think it'd be fun. And I started like preliminary drawings on uh, Taco Man and the Chalupa Kid. It's going to be fucking food superheroes, except fucking Taco Man is just such a piece of shit. 
and just sits on his ass and gets drunk. All it's basically what if, well, what if a good superhero, a name brand superhero, but just drunk all the fucking time, and the fucking sidekick has to do all the fucking work. Sounds like Batman. Well, kind of like Batman, but like with the with Tony Stark's fucking drinking problem. Yeah, I guess Batman's like too busy because Robin does do all the work. No, Robin doesn't do jack shit. It's all almost all Batman. No, all the Robins crazy. do is fucking die, or just get their asses kicked. That's fucked like, up. Batman, I got my ass kicked by your fucking like C T your 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 uh, C tier fucking rogues gallery. And, you know, one of them's getting like ass fucked by or the Mad Hatter or something. <laughs> Riggedy do, Riggedy toll. I'm in your boy's hole. Woo! Like no. <laughs> like, dude, like, seriously, like, just the, the fucking Robins will just, like, trip with their fucking pants down. No, not Ass up with the fucking air. Uh, There's a reason well, he became Nightwing. Because he, he fucking did all the work. Well, because he was just all grumpy, grouchy, getting all emo. No, that would be Red Hood. And Tim Drake did die. I mean, he didn't do too bad for a while. It's just that when he got older... You know, he just sort of like went, oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to get killed by the Joker here. Just get beaten to death by a crowbar and then blown up by a fucking bomb. Which I was always a little disappointed that I, I kind of wish they never brought Bane in for like the third Dark Knight Rises because that movie kind of fucking sucks. It's got some really great moments in there. It's just too bad. It's a shitty movie all the fucking round. And, uh, because born in the darkness, that's a great fucking scene, too. The whole fucking fight's really, really well done. It's like, I'm gonna take you over here. You'll, you'll grace your gift, you'll generous gift by the people of Gotham. Yeah. The fucking Bane posting on, on the internet has been totally worth that movie existing, though. <laughs> and then, like the year, the year that the year after that fucking movie comes out in New Orleans, uh, the fucking most of the lights go out in the fucking uh, during the uh, the big game, and then like twenty minutes later during halftime, while I was down, about ten thousand fucking Bane uh, YouTubers were like, "Yes, I fucking uh, I knocked out the, the the lights over there on the stadium." Give me one hundred and seventy billion dollars now, Gotham. <laughs> I'm burned. And that was funny for a minute. And then we got Rap Master fucking Bane. That was good. But yeah, that's uh pretty Oh oh and uh but the the fight the fighting of how do you pronounce this line, how does it work? If I pull that mask off, will you die? It'll be extremely painful. You're a big guy for Are you. you. And so, like, for, like, about two years until, until Tom, uh, or not Tom, uh, fucking, oh, the fucking Tom something or other, he plays fucking Bane and fucking Venom. Oh, Tom Hardy? There you go, Tom fucking Hardy. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, until Tom Hardy showed up on Reddit one day, and everyone just, like, was, blah, 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 what are you, what's your favorite music, there? blah, 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 and it was just a bunch of irrelevant questions until... The most uploaded fucking, like, tens of thousands of fucking upvotes of fucking question. Finally, I was like, okay, so we've been debating for, like, the last couple of years. How do you say this line? And it, it, it's, he answered, it's like, oh, okay, I get this a lot. Okay, it's, if I pull that mask off, will you die? And it's extremely painful. Blank for you. So you just ignore the, you're a big guy part. And there you get the answer to how that line was supposed to be delivered. It's still a good line delivery. It was like, you know, it was a good back and forth between Littlefinger and Bane. But, uh, you know, that, that was, it was fucking maddening. People trying to figure out the, uh, the cadence, specific cadence of the fucking line that was delivered in that movie. So I, I think the hype and, and the, the lore and the history of the movie is much better than the movie itself. Yeah. Of course, you know, this is a country where Avatar 1 and and now, shockingly enough, too, are like some of the highest grossing movies of all time. 
And I don't know a fucking single per. There was zero hype between uh, behind Avatar two. Like nobody gave a shit about it, and no one I knew fucking went to go see it. I till this day, I still don't know a single person that went to the theater or watched Avatar two. Not even the fucking hate watch, but it just it got billions of dollars. So like, who the fuck is watching this shit and and not talking about it? Because I've never seen a fucking fan of Avatar 2. I mean, not as much as, as the first one, but like fucking zero fucking talking about Avatar 2. I don't think there's that many fans of Avatar 1 even, really. Well, not anymore. Well, no, I, I knew back, back in when Avatar 1 first came out, fucking everyone saw it. I, I eventually watched it in my friend's living room. It was just, but, it's hard to grasp, like, because, like, obviously, it looks good. Both of them look good. Like, CGI-wise. That's the whole Yeah, point. it was groundbreaking for its yeah, time. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, the CGI is really, really good. And then it's like, oh, it's like the highest grossing of all time. And why? What? It was like, yeah, because it was pretty. And it was like, okay, what was the story about, uh, you know, some army guy who's crippled, you know, gets into this machine and they project his mind to the Avatar and then... The forest came to help him when the big bad humans, which is a stand-in for the government, and, uh, you know, protected the Navi, which is a stand-in for Native American uh, genocide in America during the really aggressive Western expansion into the United States. You know, like, we haven't heard this story like a million times. Most of them done in better versions and better uh, mediums. This one wasn't one of them, though. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't get the appeal. Like, the the movie is fucking boring. Like, yeah, it's I just... you just go watch anything else, you know? Like, you can literally watch, like, you know, fucking Dances with Wolves or, or fucking... Like, I'm not a big even movie the... person, but I'm not going to the movies because I'm like, oh, I think this is going to be really pretty. Well, the, sometimes that'll factor in a little bit. Like, if someone says, hey, you know, they have this groundbreaking technology, it's going to revolutionize the way we do movies. Like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll at least put that yeah, into that's consideration. That's cool, but I'm not a fucking nerd. Well, I'm a fucking nerd, so you <laughs> maybe you're bad. Wait, yeah, you are a fucking nerd. You went to a fucking Final Fantasy video game convention. So even because yeah, you went to a, a different fucking kind video game. Well, I'm sorry, but society looks at us all the same. They're like, "Oh, you're you like video games, nerd." Yeah, like, I'm like, "Oh, Avatar, what's it about?" And they're like, "Well, that's not important. What's important is how cool the CGI is." I'm like, "Well, I mean, I kind of want to know what what it's about. Like, I if if that's not the selling point, or at least one of the selling points." Why do I fucking yeah, do yeah, yeah. Don't worry about what it's about. That's the irrelevant. Yeah. Irrelevant. Come on. What are you, a nerd? You care about the story? No, no, no. Yeah. no. Just look at the cool computer shit that's happening. Well, yeah, because you, you, the response to that is either you could be like a little rundown of the story, or you go, oh, it's just like a really sick action movie or something, right? Like, th- those are the two. You can't just go, like, oh, well, the, the fucking technology is really cool. Oh, like, I don't care. I like that when that surprises me. Like with uh, Kung Pao Enter the Fist, I didn't know that it had the... Uh, it, it's, it's what really, really perfected... Uh, uh, like there was the bullet time uh, technology that you got with the Matrix, and then there was uh, bullet time but done to perfection and uh, new 3D technology that let you three render in fucking objects like a cow, for instance, to fight. And so they did this whole long-ass fucking uh, sequence with that 3D fucking animated cow. It was, like, considered groundbreaking back in those days. Yeah, I mean, if it's part of a... If it's part of a movie I'm already interested in, then, like, that's cool. But I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm just not going to see a movie just for that. No, it wouldn't be just for that though. It would have to be. There I'm would not have to see be a movie lot anyway, of other stuff. Let's be... Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I'm, I'm. If I never go to a theater again, I'm fine with it. I mean, like, uh, honestly, like, uh, I'm kind of done with just regular ass movie theaters. Really, I just want to go to like you know hoity twitty fucking swanky theaters. Like, uh, 
Oh, like go for fuck a fucking self. You fucking no, no, no. I want to go... little boomer. Can't just no, go to a you. nice no, regular movie I, theater I, I, and enjoy a it. film. You yeah, fucker. Dude, I'm fucking 43. Okay, I've been watching movies. I've been going to movie theaters since I was like two. I saw uh, like my my dad took me to go fucking see Empire Strikes Back in movie theaters. I think that was like 81 or 82. But yeah, yeah, you know, like my dad fucking took me to the movie theaters ever since then. I I'm like 43. So I pretty much been going to movie theaters for like 42 and a half years. Maybe 42 years, really. So I'm just I don't know, I'm just done, you know? I'm like eh, I just I don't know, the thrill is gone. It's like, hey, do you want to see Cape Shit movie number 45? All right, cool. Come to theater. Watch Cape Shit. Yay, you like. Now clap. Get excited for a product. Clap again. I can Get also excited just like for watch more it product. in the comfort of my own home. Yeah, I can also do that. With and... normal, reasonably priced food. Oh, fuck both of you. Fuck well, both like, of just... you fucking little it... crybaby bitches. But see, that's the thing. Appreciate the, can't appreciate just the, the elegance and the simplicity. Uh, well, no, dude, I I got what, the what, elegance. What's more I simple than, like, downloading a movie and watching it in your fucking house? What's more simple the, the, than the, that? No, ele elegant yet simple, Robin. You see, that's not elegant at all. Um, but uh, you go to a movie theater, it's just like there's new movies coming out. You go to the movie theater, you get the nice, uh, nice comfy chair, and you get to see the new movie on the big screen. And everybody's like, oh, wow, you see that new movie? Uh, movie theaters... And just the enjoyment of them, it's becoming a lost art, and I don't like it. And it's people like you that no. are spearheading that, that. No, 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 I'm not spearheading reality. it. I don't want the theaters to shut down. I want them to thrive and be alive. It's just me. I'm just kind of done with it now. Because I got the fucking little things. I've got lots and lots and lots of positive memories. You know, I think I remember just about every movie I've ever seen in a theater, right? You know, it's just that I'm done with it now. And now I just want to go to, like, something like the Alamo Draft House and watch, like, a Lord of the Rings extended fucking director's edition marathon fucking movie day uh, with uh, the fucking full Hobbit menu, you know, on there. I, I want to go see the fucking Rocky Horror Picture Show with, like, half off fucking buckets of fucking beer you know like i i want to go to like fun you know i would even watch a fucking harry potter fucking movie marathon you know with the uh, hogwarts fucking menu stuff i think that would be fun too i just even though i don't really like harry potter till we get to the third movie prisoner of azkaban is when i start like checking in uh um but uh yeah yeah i'm just I'm just done with it now. Like, I wanted to go see Oppenheimer. I was like, yeah, but I gotta go to a fucking theater and get stuck with a bunch of assholes. Like, and I don't care. And I can't just, like, you know, pause the movie, take yeah, a can't shit. Use the bathroom. God forbid you gotta yeah, pee. Yeah, I can't fucking smoke a fucking bowl, you know, without someone bitching about it. You know, just, and, and I'm out of my comfort zone. I'm out of home now. And, you know, the outside world is where all the assholes and COVID. Oh, you're hungry. Is, you Pay know? twenty dollars for a small popcorn. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I yeah, I just skipped the popcorn. Yeah, because that's another thing. It's unnecessarily expensive, and it's not because of inflation. No, it's because you they know that you're paying for the novelty of it all, and so you'll pay yeah, I mean, ten dollars for that. Now small... it is literally twenty dollars for a small popcorn. Oh well, it's it's ten for a fucking small popcorn here. But yeah, you know, like I just, I just think that's a little bit much, and I, like I said, I, I'm done with that. I'll go to theaters for like special showings of stuff. Like, I, I what I what I really really miss is I used to work at Alamo Draft House for like a year and a half. I used to work in a movie theater. It was a lot of fun. Sometimes until you got to know the people, then it was just drama city, drama city. Hey, you know, we had sex and now we have problems because I forgot to tell you that I had a boyfriend and or girlfriend. And sometimes, and both, you know, oh, yeah. And now my mate is now heading over there and they're very angry at you and me. So shooting, fighting, argument, quitting, who knows? I just got to see a shit ton of fucking movies for free. 
And that was back in 2006 when a lot of really, really, really great movies. 2006, 2007, when a lot of really, really great movies were coming out. But, uh... I was five. Oh, shut up. Stop making me remember. <laughs> Stop reminding me how old I am. I thought I was going to be 26 for fucking ever. And then 27 happened. And then 28 happened. And I was like, what the fuck? And then 29 happened. And 30 happened. And then 40 happened. That's what the fuck happened there. But, uh, yeah. I, I do miss the movies and, and all that stuff, but I, I want to go to, you know, I want to go to fun events. I don't want you like, a, I, I wish that anime was as popular as it was back in 2006, where cast members and stuff would show up at fucking movie theaters. Because they used to do that all the time. It's how I met the entire cast of Full Metal Alchemist was at the Alamo Draft House. You know, just, I don't know. Wait, you met, like, the you, cast you know the of story. Full Metal Alchemist? I've told you this, like, a hundred fucking times. Yeah. Yeah, I, I met everyone who voiced every fucking character in the full... Uh, I, I did because it was a Full Metal Alchemist movie. The one where the Nazis uh, uh, were, were the bad yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah, it was that movie. It was like I think the first big uh United States uh fucking anime movie release, I think. I think it was their first movie, major movie in American theaters. I was trying to think of any name I know in the Full Metal Alchemist cast besides the obvious one, but I realized I did not know literally anybody else by name. So so Vic Mignogna was there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Travis Bullingham? Uh, Laura probably, Bailey. yeah. I mean, yeah, all, all of them, anyone that was on the cast, like, at least, yeah, even a lot of, uh, bit voices, I think. I mean, there were a lot of, there were several VAs over there. It was fucking great. I forgot which one it is, but he also did, uh, the voice for Wolverine in the, uh, eight and nineties X Men cartoon. Or, I forget which one it is, if it was the OG one. Or if it was the one near ninety eight ninety nine, but he also did the voice for that and uh, uh, the god, uh, the god destroyer, or the god of destruction in Gu uh, Gundam Wing. Man, you were meeting some some big anime names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking great. It, it didn't, you know, like it was great, you know, hanging out and like just chilling out and stuff. It was fucking fun. Uh, shit, man. There's even some friends of mine, some of the staff, like, when the people were in there, uh, like, half the cast fucking snuck out. I got to fucking talk to Vic and, uh, uh, the Wolverine guy. I fucking forgot his goddamn name. So disappointed. Uh, I got to What was Vic Mignogna like? I gotta know. Just like an, a normal, regular dude. I mean, nothing like he was like, hey, what's up? And they were just having a fucking beer, shooting the shit. Like, people were talking anime a little bit, but mostly they were just bullshitting. Because, you know, like, you know, it's it's a voice actor, but it's 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 not like fucking Tom Hiddleston just fucking walked into the fucking thing or Liam Neeson or something. I would probably react similarly, personally. <laughs> I don't know, but most voice actors are just like people. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun one. Like you know, yeah, that's why you never hear anything bad about John DiMaggio. You know, that's why the voice for Bender and uh, like a thousand other fucking voices. Uh, yeah, he's fucking great, you know, um, it's, it's a lot of fun, but yeah, that, that was, that's my, uh, Full Metal Alchemist story. I had a fucking poster signed of the cat, signed by the cast, but I gave it to this chick I was very, very sweet on and had a huge crush on, and uh... then she, then, like, there was, like, she was having some weird issue with her family, uh, we had a really great, like, final night together, and then I never fucking talked to her or seen her again. I was like, oh, that made me sad. Damn. Yeah, but that's... She, she, she that took was... your poster, gave you one night of passion, and disappeared into the ether. Well, no, it wasn't, no, we never banged. We were just, like, really good friends, but I was very, one very, One night you of know... passionate friendship. Okay. <laughs> and... Now you make me sound like I'm fucking pathetic? All right, <laughs> no, it wasn't like... It was like the bestest friend's day ever. Or anything like that. I was like, all right, tell her feel, tell her feel. If there's something wrong with my grandma. I gotta go. I'll catch you up in a week. And I'm like, fucking didn't see her until like three years later on fucking social media. And she barely remembered me. I was like, god damn, dude. Fuck you. Shit. 
and my heart was completely shattered. Oh, it's rough, buddy. That was a quick in and out of my love life. Ah, uh, but you didn't get to do any in and out, unfortunately. Fuck you and your fucking bitch ass <laughs> mama. <laughs> hey, it's fine, Mo. It's not a big deal. What's a? Uh, I've been I've been thinking lately about how uh, my mocast role used to be that I would just do zingers. Like the, if you look back at our episodes from like 2019. It's a whole lot of Mo Diggity and Robin having intellectual conversations while I just shit on Mo occasionally, um, and I've, I've I really have not been on my game on that. I gotta I gotta improve my uh, anti Mo Zinger game here on the Mo Cast. I gotta I gotta bring us back to top game. Yeah, you gotta fucking have, you gotta come full circle on uh, in to that. Look at me and fucking like, God damn! I cannot speak worth the shit. We did a me and uh, Riley did a podcast yesterday, uh, Kara's Kingdom, and bless his heart, fucking Riley couldn't speak English worth a damn throughout the entire fucking thing. Now I think you're affecting me somehow. That's why you went. Yeah, I was having a rough time. (laughs) Comes in with all his Scrabble words today. Not. Mm -hmm. You see, for Kara's Kingdom, we watch a show in Japanese, and you see what happened is I got so engrossed. In the source Japanese. material that I no, I wasn't speaking Japanese. I, I didn't I didn't retain any Japanese, but I forgot some English because I was so engrossed in the Japanese. <laughs> you guys are still doing Kira's Kingdom, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, because uh, it's kind of it's kind of reached a point where it doesn't always happen. So this eleven episode J drama has taken us like half a year um, because what is hypothetically supposed to be a weekly show. Uh, just due to a variety of situations on both of our ends, is like a month and a half show. Well, th- this one was all you, not me, this time. That's true. But like, I, I put poor, I-, I, I put forth a proposal that we just fucking binge the last three fucking episodes and just get it fucking done. No, we're with. in too and deep. He doesn't want to fucking do that, but yeah, but all right. Have have you have you watched uh, Never Ending Story? No. no, you haven't watched Never Ending Story, Riley. I know, I know it's some big masterpiece because I listened uh, to a two-hour oh, actually, podcast yes, I, yes, I did, where actually, Monkey Jones described why it was a masterpiece, but I have not seen it. God damn you, Riley! You, you bitch! All right, I was, I was you, a little baby you've got to, but yes, you, you've you've got to watch Never Ending Story. It's like the quintessential fucking. Uh, it, it's like a child's rite of passage. In fact. You're not a man until you watch Never Ending Story. You, like one last uh one last go into the gray that is your childhood. You've got to watch uh Never Ending Story. I actually it's like Dark Crystal except like a lot more fun and there's a lot more engagement and you won't cry like a little bitch because m- my fucking attention span. I would like to say um I actually have seen it. I believe I did watch it as a kid. I have I have memory of doing so, but I remember literally nothing about it except for when yeah, that's the horse where I'm dies. at as well. I only yeah. remember the horse dying. This is the only part. Artax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was one of the iconic fucking uh, lines in the movie. Because there was like, why is the fucking horse sinking into the fucking quicksand? Come on, like, and he just sits there and watches his fucking horse drown in the quicksand. Like, holy fuck. And the the director was like, oh, yeah, leave that in. It won't make the fucking kids cry at all. You know? Yeah. Jesus Christ. And then there's, the, there's like several scenes later. Oh, hey, we're at these two towers, these two stone statues. Hey, there's a knight. I wonder what he's doing. Go, knight, go. <laughs> And fucking disintegrates the fucking night. Like, holy shit, man. <laughs> Which was really cool. And I did enjoy that scene a lot. Sounds like a pretty sick film. Yes, it is indeed a sick film, as the kids say, Riley. Yeah, but movies just suck. I don't think they suck. There's lots and lots of great, great, great movies. He's got to, like, ask friends what are some good movies. I don't know. 
I, I watch them, and every time I'm like, just not 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 a good medium. Well, why not? I could see, it could just be a TV TV show. That'd be well, cool. Yeah, true. It's like it's like the shortest medium. Yeah, actually, it is. Yeah, but they they like trick you into thinking they're the longest medium because it's like one long thing. But it's like no, I mean like a TV show or like book. Mm-hmm. Way longer tells a better story usually. Sure, sure. You kind of got me there because you could just sit on your ass and watch a movie, but you're done in like you know X amount of time, guaranteed. But with like a TV show, you could be there for fucking days. And if you're and I can reading stop a book, I want. yeah. And if you're reading a book, you're there for days. Video game there for days. Yeah, movies actually is actually is the shortest fucking ver- form. I just I always like longer form stuff. Now, I mean, there's like TV shows that aren't serialized, right? But I don't yeah. like those anyway. <laughs> so or I don't generally like them. Oh, that's such an Robin. You're an old lady. What? I don't like any TV shows if they're not a serialized story. I can't just enjoy a fun show. Yeah, but why would I care? Fucking God, I I thought I left the nursing home earlier, and now I'm just surrounded (laughs) by fucking old people. Why people don't like things? I like things this way, Riley. Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Did I give you your birthday five dollars? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! Why, I know why I had a a, a a a grandfather from New York just come in all of a sudden. He's like, "Get the fuck out of here!" That's what my grandma said to me today. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I, I know, know it was why. a callback to earlier in the episode. I'm glad that I know. you uh, got it. He picked up on it. The joke explainer mm-hmm. figured it out. Uh. So, um, I did watch, okay, I, I know though, a couple of weeks ago we were talking about, uh, how the new voice for the Dan Har- the, the Justin Roiland centric characters yeah, yeah, are yeah. both Solar Opposites and Rick and Morty. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm, I'm still not sure if I'm going to watch Rick and Morty at all. Shut up. Shut fuck the fuck you. up. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck, fuck your mama. You. Fuck your mama. Fuck your mama. But I did no, watch. I'm not watch it cause you, be, 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 be. Fuck you. Well, because it's not. It's just like, all right. I I get it for Solar Opposites, but you know, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Not for Rick and fucking Morty. I'm sorry. Why not? Just cancel the fucking show. No. Just cancel the show. It ended on the note no. that it needed to end on. Maybe in ten years, fucking come back when everyone's fucking doesn't have any more. Court cases that they gotta get, you know, no one was caught jacking off in a movie theater or a fucking popsicle stand. No I don't one was fucking caught know. sending creepy texts to huh. teenage girls, uh, which is something that will never go away. Uh, yeah, it'll go away. Like, I'm sorry, but people just don't fucking care. They have like an attention span. You don't care, is what you're saying. No, for re- no, no, no. I, I, I kind of care, but. I only care enough to where if you know, unless something happens, you know, I want something to happen, but no, like seriously. Everyone like, I want to, something everyone. to happen, but since nothing happened, he should well, come back. Well, no, I just think that either like just you know, re- just something did happen. The they lines. took him off the show. <laughs> well, I I just think that they should sh- should have just used the fucking lines that they already had or just cancel that's the, the fucking that's show. That's she, the part yeah, that's fucking the bullshit. Show. No, don't cancel the show. Cancel that part, the show. Shut the fuck up. No. Cancel uh, the but, fucking show. Just cancel no. it. No. No. <laughs> they're not going to cancel the show. They that has plenty of momentum. It. And they're still Ugh. working hard on. And Royland had, like, no involvement oh, yeah. in the writer room, apparently. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to fucking... be so great. Yeah, it's going to be so fucking great without, like, you know, the... The two main characters' voices being there are fucking a billion changed. people who could do an exact and they're all terrible. They're, of and they're what all they terrible. sound like. And they're it's all just terrible. a dumb voice. It's and a dumb terrible. little cartoon voice. All right, Morty, and, and, and they're, ter- and they're terrible. And we need the OG it. fucking guy just just stand in there and either finish off the series or cancel it. To, finish, to say my reasonable thought that isn't complete, completely fucked. Um. 
I do think it's bullshit that they, they, it is reported that Justin Roiland had already recorded the entire season and they're going to throw that already recorded dialogue away. That is the stupid part. Yeah, they don't want to pay him for it. I don't mind them replacing him after the fact. Yeah, but they don't no, want to give him the money. No, if you've already done it. the labor, you have to pay them, right? Well, no, but he, they don't it's want to give him the money. It's when it's recorded. He'd yeah, get but royalties he's going to get. If they use his voice, he's I mean, going sure to get hella royalties. He's going to get hella uh, crazy royalties, though, when everyone yeah, he's like, already watches getting about the, the royalties, sure. Well, yeah, like, yeah, after, it's, it's well, like a drop after, in the bucket. Who cares? After after uh, this uh, next season comes out with, like, new Rick and new Morty, the fans are going to revolt, and they're just going to watch the no, first, like, four. Yes, they will, man. I'm telling you, it's not going to be good. It's going to be fine. Uh, just, just cancel the fucking show. There's no need to. Yeah. They need to cancel the show. Just be done with it already. And yeah, it ends on a fucking downer note. Evil Morty gets away. And, you know, we don't know. Like we that was we that was not last season. season. That was the season before. Uh, whatever. I, I I don't give a shit. <laughs> it, it's one of them. He did. But, yeah. yeah just, just fucking cancel it. No. Yes. There's no Why? need. Why? Just cancel it because it's not going to be the same. If it's not going to be the same, fuck it. Who cares about one voice actor who's the easiest, like the most the, easiest two, imitation two the... to do in the world? Oh yeah, because that's going to be great if they, oh, did, you know, it would be so oh, great. Geez. It's me, Morty. Yeah, oh, geez, it would be Rick. so great if they just oh. fired everyone in The Simpsons and just got fucking impressionists. Go, I caramba. This show already sucks. This show still has steam behind it. Uh, just just cancel the fucking show. I'll tell you no. what the problem is with The Simpsons. The writers. The writers of yeah. Rick and Morty are still good. I mean, they're okay. I mean, I just, I get it. Like, they're okay, but just, I would just cancel Rick and Morty and just be done and over with. Yeah, yeah, just cancel it. Just fucking cancel it. Who cares? Who cares if you have a good show that's continuing hey, to hey, get hey, money? Hey, hey, if I don't get good. fucking Half Life 3, you guys shouldn't get the end of Rick and Morty. Every generation needs a tragedy that defines them. My I'm generation's is tragedy. Sick. My generation's tragedy is lack of Half Life Three. You got Half Life Alex. It was okay, and we got the letter that told us what the ending was. But still, I I, I just still won the game. All right, I'm I'm disgusted by both of you old people. Can <laughs> you? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't want to go see Cape Ship movie number forty five two A. And movie theater designated nation 35A Cinemark. You know, like it's just, it's just not fun anymore. Like it's, and it's sad. You know, like it's, it's an unfortunate chapter of my life. I've got to close, but I don't, I, you know, smile not because it's gone. Smile that you, you got to spend the time you got to spend. The, 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 well, you wouldn't smile because it's gone if you liked it. You, you d don't be sad because it's gone. Smile because it happened. Ah, uh, fuck uh, you. Alright, don't don't correct me. It sickens me. You bitch. Alright, gamers. Is anybody else? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is the Riley cast. My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. You're, you're just gonna fucking do the thing. Yeah, and not let me now. do the thing. You bitch. <laughs> I want to talk about movie theaters and how they all need to be torn down now. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> No, I don't want to do that. You were supposed to say no and yell. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, listen, I guess it is your show. You can say whatever you want to say, um, but you're yeah. a boomer. I would keep certain words to your 4chan account. And and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those, there are some certain 4chan only words, but I believe we're clear on those, so it's yeah. okay. Um, what words but, are those again? Um, I believe one of them starts with an N. Uh, no, but, but what, what, what is it? Oh, oh, a lot okay. of words so, the, then, yeah. so the word is. <laughs> All right, that's it, Riley. You're fucking fired. 15 Damn. million Deutschmarks. 15 million Deutschmarks. All oh. right, everyone. I should have anyway, just. I, sh I should have just committed and say the n word. I edit this show. I could have bleeped. Yeah, it. don't, 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 don't <laughs> actually say that. Yeah, but you don't can actually. still just bleep it anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I, I could. I can. Past the illusion that I said it. That's yeah, a good exactly. point. That's a good point. And then leave this bit in <laughs> to, to, to immediately break that illusion.
Yeah, there's <laughs> been some like really funny jokes where the censorship was actually made the joke funnier. I feel like that's constantly. That's I, I don't know if maybe it was just like it just got my twelve year old mind and I just never grew out of it. But I love bleep swears. Like a, a sentence with a swear in it is like fifteen times funnier if that swear is bleeped. <laughs> It it is sort of a little bit of a tragedy that you don't know that you liked it until it's gone. Like for example, like you know, I, I I'm an old man. I I've been around the block a time or two. Yeah. And uh, fuck you. And uh, you, you know, you hear like beep 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 or like dead silence or if you like metal apocalypse a guitar riff. And then you know these days since everything's like ew cable gross get away from me. We're going to go online. And now they they hardly ever bleep their swears or anything. Like, I was watching the new uh, Justified Primeval. Really good fucking show. But now they can use the whole, like, gamut of swear words. And I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I get it. It's cool. Now the, now the characters can act like full-fledged adults. But, you know, just sometimes it, it's, it's fun. It's sort of like a... When South Park was able to use, when it started using all the swear words, it was like, eh, it's not as special though when they, when, when, when you do that. Not, not South Park, just like the times, like, you know, when someone says fuck on a fucking popular show, it, it's sort of like, you know, I remember when NYPD Blue, uh, w- got major hype that the word dickhead was going to be uttered on TV for the first time. And it made its rounds, too, like the the news was reporting on it. And they saved it for the very, very end, the next to last fucking scene. It's like, quick trash, quick uh, 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 trick question, dickhead. You know, and uh, that was it. And it was a show that showed ass on network TV for, like, the Let's first hell time. Hell yeah. That's the dream. Yeah, like, m- dude's ass and chick ass, too. So th- they, they are just... we love it. Oh, oh, yeah, just a little bit of both for everybody. Bisexual uh, icon. Uh, yeah, b- bi- uh, like a bisexual icon show uh, before it's time. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was fun when the swearing was to a minimum. Now that everyone can do it, it's sort of like, you know, when everyone's super, no one will be. That's kind of how I feel. Oh, fuck off, Paul. Paul just posted oh, that stupid fucking fedora picture of me again. I hate oh, that fucking. Good. I hate that shirt, man. Oh, the I fedora really picture of Mo. Let's mm-hmm. see it. The thumbnail of this episode. Let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, what gift the hell is that? This is my reaction. What's the problem? Okay, it's an Asian chick given the OK symbol while she, I think, is getting some rigorous exercise done to her lower quarters oh. here. Yeah, she's having a good time. Okay, right. okay. Uh, I would like to pitch this to the council, and by the council, I mean Robin, because Mo's just going to be like, no, don't do that. So, Robin. Uh, <laughs> Yo, mama. What would be... What would be the funniest if I if I took this image and just took the white background out and made it transparent? What would be the funniest place to put Fedora Mo? <laughs> put me for, in for Israel or like Palestine. <laughs> no, you put him in an AMC theater. Oh, <laughs> just like outside of an AMC theater, just like a speech bubble that says. Or, nah, or you go with the Alamo uh, Draft House. I'm too good for this. I, that's, yeah, that's it. Oh fuck you! I love the Alamo <laughs> Draft House. I would no, no, I, like, I, I, I meant AMC. Up. I meant AMC. Yeah, I, I was AMC. talking about AMC. We got wires crossed. Uh, <laughs> Too mainstream. I love that. That that that. Uh, Alamo Draft House sounds pretty cool. It is cool. It's one of the best fucking places there. Uh oh. Was that you? Was what me? The predator. Oh, you heard that? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Oh, okay, I thought that was me. I was like, "What the fuck? Am I disconnected?" Stop that! That's Wait, making no, no, me no, paranoid. That's, that's Robin. That's Robin. No. <laughs> Is that from the Discord soundboard? 
Yeah, it is. Okay, oh, so God damn listeners it. listeners can hear it. She was doing Why the can't USB they fucking hear it? Like, oh, that sucks, man. Uh, I, I really want them to hear that. Yeah. yeah they should that... be able to. It comes it keeps to the mic. It comes to the mic, but Craig ignores it somehow. Like it's a, it comes through a separate channel, I guess, and Craig is just like, nah. I don't what a like monster. It. Yeah. All right. Well, no, you okay, can do the everyone. thing now. <laughs> yeah, I, I am, if you let me. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, go, go ahead. Anyone got any last words before we wrap everything up? Stop. Uh, yeah, don't get what? Riley. Make, happening. Don't make Riley angry. Uh, 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 okay, so the, the, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers can't hear anything, so I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, All right, anyone got any final thoughts before we wrap everything up? Uh, Riley? Uh, you're old. Fuck you. Robin? <laughs> uh, you're bald. Fuck yeah! you. All right. Riley, where can they find you at? You sick, <laughs> all, all you sicken me. <laughs> Folks, you can find me uh, in the description or on my Twitter at the pin tweet, uh, which is that Riley tweets on Twitter. Um, it's my link tree. It's linktr.ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe. It's got links to every, all of it. All of the things that I do. All the million, billion things that I do. All of them right there. Um, and you can check them out. All Hell your... Yeah. Waste of time, zero of your podcast, as Mel yep. puts it. Yep, all my complete waste of time, shitty podcast that nobody should listen to, according to Mo Diggity. That's a Mo oh, fuck off. I didn't deal. mean it like that. I didn't mean <laughs> it like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's where you can find me. What about you, Robin? Uh, down there, there's like a there's like one link, probably. Yeah, it's your Twitch. <laughs> yeah, it's my Twitch. <laughs> you, could, you could go there. I don't really stream anything, but you, you could go there if you want. <laughs> you should go to Kick. It'll be a lot more fun. Oh, and then I'd have another website I don't use. <laughs> well, actually, use Kick though. It's, it's it's fun. You'll get an audience over there. People like to watch everyone stream and hang out. Oh, yeah, that's because they've been banned from every other website and they can't go anywhere else. Yeah, but they're all nice so far. Yeah, well, I mean, you're a straight cis white dude. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, that's I, that's, I, that's I, not I the big I, win. I that's not the big to... win these days. It really okay, isn't. I, I, I wouldn't leap to call Kick, like, mostly anti-trans, as Robin is implying with this statement. <laughs> I mean, they're not they're not great people. There's no one that fucking cares about, and no one really shits on them. Like, what, like, what, uh, uh fucking Sneeko and fucking, what's his name, fucking Aiden Ross? Who gives a shit about those two morons? They're idiots. I mean, that's the, that's the Kick audience for you. It's it's literally two people out of like the thousands that are there though. Yeah, but they're huge audiences. Who cares? They're our mostly kick, bots. Kick viewers. I gotta say, I think most of the I mean, shit's probably most botted. of your viewers are bots as well. <laughs> like just everyone's are bots. I think they artificially inflate the numbers. Ugh, fuck. Yeah, damn it! I've, I didn't consider that before. Okay, all right. So I guess you can find me at kick dot com forward slash most site gaming. Uh. Uh, most side gaming everywhere on threads. No one uses threads anymore on Twitter, on Instagram, on, right. you know, somewhere else, I'm sure. But yeah, come check me out. I'm here. I'm everywhere. Kick.com, uh, uh twitter.com forward slash MSG official YT. There I am too. I'm also on YouTube, most side gaming. Check me out. Well, anywho. Thanks for coming out, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you guys next week with some more wacky banter and the other stuff that you guys like. Actually, you know, sub to the fucking channel. Please just sub to the channel and, and yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up, and comment. Even if it's to tell me that my shit sucks or our shit sucks, rather. Just tell fucking comment. We have, but we have no, one semi regular. Com- we have one semi regular commenter. Um, yeah, I know it's my- fucking Paul. But no, 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 it's not Paul. Uh, Paul does not comment on this show that much. Uh, he he comments on the issue crew like every week, but he does not comment on this show really. Um, but uh, my my good friend Redox uh, comments on this show, um, and a lot of it. Um, I don't I don't know if he listens anymore. I think he got. Uh, he just hates Kang. Um, and the last couple comments we Whoa. got from him were, uh, the, f- the first comment he left was, 
Uh, something in effect of Kang's laugh is really annoying. I'm never watching an episode with Kang in it again. <laughs> and then the next week we had Kang on again, and he commented, "Yes, Kang, no watch." And he hasn't commented on any of the vocast since. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Well, at risk of being a Kangless vocast, there's no well, there's no Kang on this one. I guess we'll announce that at the very end of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. it should be a factor in ever at all. In case you were wondering, all. Redox, no Kang. Yeah, no Kang. No Demi, no Kang, no Insight Alloy or I don't know why you, don't know or why you bring, or bring them or up. Uh, nobody has anything against them. It's just Redox hey, is my Kang's We're get Kathy in here next time. We He's should cheap. get Kathy in here. People like Kathy on this show. All right, everyone. Kathy well, always has a good time on this show. What's the OGs yeah, is for? I'm just, uh, no, I was just fucking around. Okay, okay. What are you calling Ancro? Kathy Ancro. Anne Crow. Yeah, that's why I want us the fucking drama cast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We could have Kathy on or we could have Crow on, but we cannot have Kathy and Crow on. Wow, well, it'll be the <laughs> least work we ever have to do in our lives. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'll see, we'll see you around. Take care now. Ta ta. Bye. Bye.